So I've been wanting to make something like this for a while that will turn a track saw into basically a very accurate miter saw. And I've used the Festool multifunction table before in the past. It's great. It has a lot of cool functions, uh, but it is very expensive and has a ton of parts that I kind of feel like are unnecessary. You really just need a way to keep the saw where you want it to cut smaller pieces and to secure the piece properly. So here we're checking to make sure that our clearances and everything are right. We want to, don't want to make sure that it can actually spin and function and not hit the track or the work surface. It's always best to try to figure that out in a virtual format before you start making the real thing. And we wanted to keep it as simple as possible. I wanted just the fewest number of unique parts. So there's just one base style, one linkage arm. And so the, the system altogether is two bases and one linkage, which should help make it easy to make or print or machine or however we end up doing this at the end. Um, and it's just a prototype. So we printed one of each first to make sure everything fit together and the heights and everything ended up proper. We decided on the height of the linkage arm by measuring the max depth of cut for the saw that I'm going to be using, which is the Festool track saw. And then since I don't want to secure it directly to the track, because I want the track to still be mobile and also I don't want to drill holes in it, we're making a track for the track, which we did by just using some small pieces of plywood and shaving them down until they were a tight fit, uh, snap fit for the track. And then that way we can secure the legs to that piece of plywood instead of the track and it'll be a permanent fixture on the work surface. And if you had a different type of track saw or no track saw, you could create just a sled for your circular saw and get the same effect. And this also had a lot of structural integrity because the one issue with the tracks is they're very thin and so if you're doing really narrow parts, they have a tendency to bend and want to move but something rigid like this will prevent that. So we got in place. The nice thing about the legs being splayed outwards is not only do they help make it more secure against any sort of lateral movement, they also make it easier to secure to the work surface since you attach it to the track first and when you flip it over, the other bases are splayed out to the side and are easier to get to. and, and therefore easier to screw to the work surface. So here we're getting ready to do the first cut. Yeah, normally on a piece this small, the track would want to flex around, but since we've got this added half inch base, everything's very stable and secure. So I've been using the prototype for a while now. It's been going really well. The cat's cuts are very accurate and I'm really happy with it so far. And I had originally intended to make a fence for it, kind of like the Festool's fence. Uh, basically an upside down miter gauge that you could set to your desired angle and put your piece up against it. And then after using this for a while, since I'm not really like a cabinet maker who does tons of repeated cuts, same angles, usually each piece has a different one. I discovered that it's actually a lot faster to just either mark the piece or to mark the work surface and then just line your piece up with um, you know your most common angles you can fit quite a few on whatever your work surface is, and you don't have to have another piece of equipment to make and maintain uh, additionally it's been really really sturdy and accurate and i think that if we made the linkage arms uh, a little more robust, uh, maybe machine them out of aluminum, there's no reason to have four. And you're probably going to have all the strength you need from just two in the back, which cuts down on cost and lets you rotate it so you can slide larger pieces in and out easier.
put that together with a sheet of plywood that you set up like an MFT table, add some caster wheels to the end so you can wheel it around, don't have to carry it, uh, set it on top of a couple of folding sawhorses, or if it's in a permanent position, you can put it on a permanent base, and you basically have a portable MFT crosscut with 25 inches of cutting uh, clearance for the cost of sheet of plywood if you've already got the track saw and the sawhorses.